everybody welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining my name is jasmine and i am documenting my budgeting um journey that i started about a couple weeks ago i recently got a unexpected check from a facebook um class action lawsuit and they sent the check in the mail so i decided to go ahead and budget with that check so I'm going to get to stuff a little bit of extra funds into some of my envelopes since I got that extra check in the mail. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start and count the money. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. 90, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm going to move these over a little bit. 275, 280, 285, 290, 295, 300. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 dollars. So let me go ahead and move these out of the way. I'll move the money over here a little bit. And first thing I'm going to start with is just one envelope I have in my bills binder. And in this envelope, it's going to be my J Charday business that I need to start stuffing for. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the tracker first. Today is the 21st. I am going to add $10 into this envelope because there are some business things that I want to save up for um, to help my business grow. So I'm gonna put a $10 bill in here. So this envelope now has $10. That's gonna be the only thing I stuff in my bills binder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then we can move on to some savings. Go ahead and get that open. So in my savings and emergency, I'm going to stuff $25. It's going to be a 20 and a 5. Remember, I do have $50 in the bank already for emergency. So now that's going to give me 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, $95 an emergency oh I don't think I said the cash total was 310 if you didn't catch that I'm gonna fill this out really quick sorry about bumping that so that brings us to $95 in emergency next up is gonna be my envelope I'm gonna put five dollars in there I had $10 before, so now I have 10 and 15. Next up, we have Jemaya's envelope. That's my oldest daughter. She's going to be getting $5. So, Jemiah now has 5, 10, 11, 12 in her envelope. And like I said, this was just some unexpected money. There was a lawsuit for residents of Illinois for like facial recognition. And Facebook ended up losing that lawsuit and had to pay out. I think it came out to like 450 million or 480 million, something like that. And so all of the residents of Illinois who filed a claim end up getting checks that came out to $397. I didn't stuff the whole $397, but 
um i decided to do 310 out of that next up we have samaya she's gonna be getting 50. this is my youngest daughter now she does have a hundred dollars in the bank already so the placeholder represents that so she has 150 60 70 80 90 200 dollars And when she gets to 500, well, actually 400 more dollars, I'm going to go ahead and deposit that into the bank as well. And then going forward, every $500 that she gets, I am going to um, put in the bank into her savings account so she can get some interest. So she now has $200. Next up will be Maddox. This is my son. He's going to get $5. And he has nothing currently because with Jemaya Maddox, I'm going to be taking their rollover money from my cash envelopes that I had used for them to stuff their envelopes because they already have money in savings accounts. So Maya is the only one who did not, so that's why she gets a little bit more. So Maddox now has five dollars. Next, I'm gonna stuff birthdays. Next birthday coming up is Maddox's birthday is July 8th so I want to make sure I have enough money in there for him to celebrate his birthday nicely so in birthdays we now have 2035 Next, I am going to stuff the vacation. Envelope and vacation will be getting $20 today. So vacation has 20, 30, 45. I have two potential vacations coming up. One with the kids and one to New Orleans with my cousins. So I need to get this one bulked up. And then last but not least in this one, there is the medical. I'm going to put $5 in here. I do have um, some medical expenses that will be coming up in about six months. And I want to save and make sure I have enough money to pay that off in full when that day comes. So I'm going to put $5 in medical. And that is all that it has right now. And that is going to be it for my savings binder. Last but not least will be the challenges. And I am so happy I can do the challenges. Actually, the first challenge I'm going to do is my challenge bank for Christmas. You guys know. I have this bank and um, this is what I'm using to stuff for Christmas. I don't know what is in here. I'm not keeping track of it. I've been stuffing this since January with whatever I can. Today I can go ahead and stuff $20. So it's going to be two tens. So. And twenty, 
for Christmas. And then I'm going to divide this up between my kids, of course, and whoever else I need to buy for for Christmas. So back to the challenges binder. Okay. First up is going to be the monthly binder. And with this, I just stuffed this on the 17th. Um, as you all know, we are doing $5 per day for the month of May since we are at the 21st. That will be 20 more dollars that needs to go in our monthly envelope. We do have some placeholder money that represents the money that was put into the bank for quarter one. After quarter two, I will do the same thing, um, deposit the funds, and then I will just go ahead and put the placeholder money in here just so I can keep track of what is supposed to be in the bank. So now for a monthly, we have 100, 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 340, 350, 60, 70, 80, 90, 405 dollars in monthly. And that is great. That built up very quickly i'm happy about that so we have 405 in our monthly fund next is going to be the 100 envelope for the 100 envelope i am going to be doing 66 dollars today and I am going to be stuffing envelope 15 and envelope 16. Let me just get a marker out to color those numbers in. Okay, so here is 16. And then here is 50. In the 100 envelope challenge, of course, we are supposed to be able to save $5,050 at the end of this challenge. And I'm just stuffing this whenever I can. Let me get my little challenge box. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Get my little challenge box out. And uh, the two envelopes. So 50 is going to get the $50 bill. And I don't seal these because I want to use these envelopes again. So I just fold them in. But the challenge box I have is like a lock box. So I can lock this up. And then $16 are going to do a 10, a 5, and a 1 for 16 For a total of $66. get my little box and I'm gonna put this in the back of the box with the rest of those next up we are going to do oh let me write let me fill this out first 521 we did We did sixty six dollars. So let's see, fifty nine plus sixty six. 
And I don't want to keep track, but I do at the same time, just so I can know. And I'm just making a note of which numbers I stuffed for this week. So next up is the thousand dollar challenge. And for the thousand dollar savings challenges, I am doing numbers 12 and number 11. So I don't know if you watched last week, but I was supposed to um, color in the 8 and somehow I colored in the 28, but I did go ahead and fix that. So I got rid of the 28 and I fit, colored in the 8. So today I'm going to make sure I color in the right numbers. So we are going to do 12. And I see that 11, but I want to do something in this row. So I'm going to color in this 11 here. So I'm going to do a 10, 11, 12, and then 10 and 11. So that's a total of $23 for the thousand dollar savings challenge and now for the thousand dollar savings challenge i have 10 20 30 40 50 65 6 7 8 9 69 dollars in the thousand dollar savings challenge And what I'm doing to try to get done with this quicker is just picking a couple of smaller numbers instead of the bigger numbers. This one doesn't really have very many big numbers, but I want to try to, you know, knock out as many of those smaller numbers as possible first. And then I will go ahead and work on the bigger numbers. So we did 11. So... And then we did 12 for a total of $69 in a $1,000 savings challenge. Next, we are going to do the 52-week challenge. And I am going to be doing $20 this week for the 52-week savings challenge. Let's color that in. I'm just going to do two $10 bills for this one. So for this one, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, $110 in this 52 week savings challenge. At the end of this challenge, you should have been and saved $1,378. Wait, did I count that right? Let me see. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I added $20, I forgot. I'm thinking I only added 10. Last but not least, I am going to do my one month ahead challenge. This is a $3,000 savings challenge, but I'm designating it to be my one month ahead challenge so I can have money to get ahead of my bills. And with this one today, I am going to be stuffing $16. So that should be what we have left here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yes. And so 
for this challenge, we now we are at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 in my one month of head challenge. So I am glad that I got that unexpected check. I actually have forgot about it because that's something that we had to claim back in 2020 and it just got paid out on this week and they're actually still sending out payments to Illinois residents. So um, yeah, glad I was able to cash in on that and go towards some of my savings challenges. All right, let me just make sure I did that math. Yep, $51. So, thank you for joining me in another video. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thumbs up the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.